Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Verve and Verve routing in the Nexus environment. Let me explain to you before I start to do the configuration. Say for example, if you have a switch, you normally create VLANs for layer 2 separation. Say for example, you have three VLANs, VLAN 10, 20, 30. VLAN 10 might be for sale, VLAN 20 might be for accounting, VLAN 30 might be for marketing. So if a user in VLAN 10, they're not going to see any traffic from VLAN 20 or VLAN 30 and vice versa. So it is a very secure layer two separation. Similarly, verbs are used a layer three separation. That means each verb, say for example, you have verb 10, 20, 30, they have their own routing instance. They have, all, they have their own routing table, they have their own routing database, and they have their own routing adjacency with the other verbs, other routing entities. This is very useful when you have a multiple tenant in your environment. Say, for example, if you are a service provider or if you are a data center provider, each of your tenants will have their own routing requirements. Sometimes they use overlapping IP space, especially with the private IP space to do their routing and natting. For this kind of application, you really need the verb. I think now you got the point. So let's go into our router and do the configuration. I have a pair of Nexus here. I'm going to do all the configuration in this router. So let's open the switch and do the configuration. Let's look at what are the verbs uh, on this switch by default. Show VRF. When a Cisco switch shipped out of the factory, there will be two different verbs. One is default verb, other one is the management verb. Only management interface, which is a router interface, can be part of this management verb. Show int status, you see management zero is a routed interface, it's going to be part of management verb. Show IP int brief verb management, you can see only management can be in this management verb. If you try to put other interface into the management verb, it will not allow. And as I told you, management verb has its own routing table. Let's look at that. Show IP, show IP route verb management. And you can see it has a static route and it has two connected routes. So let's create a new verb and see how we can put some interface into the new verb and how we can do the routing. To create a verb, go to the global config mode and type in VRF context and the verb name. Say for example, I'm going to create ABC Corp. And now let's look at show VRF. Now you have three verbs and it automatically assigned the verb ID three. Verb need to have an SVI, that is switch virtual interface to do the routing. So you need to enable conf T feature interface VLAN that will enable SVI for verbs. And you also need to enable feature OSPF. Okay, now you can do the routing in your newly created verb. So let's look at the routing table in the new verb. Show IP route verb ABC corp. There are no IP routing table for the new verb yet. Let's create a loopback interface and put that as part of the new verb. Conf T interface loopback 100 IP address 192 168 one zero twenty four all zeros host part is invalid yeah you cannot use zero 
for the IP address. That's why it is giving you the message here. So I'm going to say 1124. While I am in the loopback interface, I'm going to say verb member ABC Corp. And you see, warning, delete all layer 3 config on interface loopback 0. That means whatever the IP I configured is gone. Say, if you look at show int loopback 100, it doesn't have any config. So you need to be careful when you put an interface into the verb. It's going to erase all the config. So you need to put the interface first and do the configuration. So I'm going to do it now. So now you issue the command. You will see the IP address here. I am still on the loopback interface. Now I am going to configure this loopback interface into an OSPF process. So IP router OSPF say this is two area zero. So now this loopback interface is part of OSPF. So let's go and look at the routing table show IP route verb ABC cope and you can see the loopback interface is now directly connected and local. So let's create another interface VLAN, just a data VLAN and put that in here and see whether we can do the routing within that verb. Conf T VLAN 100 name sales int vlan 100 and we are going to put this into the verb vrf member abc corp and then we are going to configure the ip address address 192 168 2.124 no shut IP router OSPF to area zero. Let's look at IP route for ABC Corp now. If you look at here now, VLAN 100 is also part of this routing table and directly connected. So this is how you do verb routing in the Nexus platform or any other platform that support work in the Cisco environment. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you like the content of this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification for future helpful networking videos.